Hey everyone, welcome back to another Muddy Reviews. Today's review is going to be over the ATS Slimline Chest Rig, which you see before you. I got this chest rig off of eBay from an eBay seller, and I'll have all that information in the description below. So first and foremost, ATS makes beautiful products. Uh, this is my second review of an ATS product. Uh, the first review is actually of a Slimline uh, Micro GP, which is actually going to go right here. And I will uh, also have a link to that review below. Um, this chest rig I picked up for a, a BB War kit me and a friend are doing. And I wanted a chest rig that would hold different magazine types, but in particular would hold AK magazines. And I wasn't sure if this was going to hold them. And I got on ATS's website. I was looking around for different chest rigs. I was like, I don't want something. I wanted something. Kind of low profile, kind of um, simple because I was going to be wearing it over top of a pharaoh and something that would carry the right amount of magazines but also give me the ability to expand a little bit. I didn't want a micro because it just didn't serve my purposes, but I didn't want something gigantic either. And I stumbled upon this. I saw a review on their website from a gentleman who owned one. And in, his, in the review, he was actually wearing uh, this with an AK. So I was like, well, I'll give it a shot and see what happens. And to my pleasant surprise and happiness, I'm going to put it in. Holds AK magazines beautifully. But the cool part was, it didn't just hold AK magazines beautifully. It also held P Max beautifully. G36. Yep, G36 magazines. Pardon me. It's going to get a little dicey. Bear with me. With no issues. Just me fumbling because I have my fumble hands. And standard GI mags. No issues. The only magazines I haven't tried, and I'm pretty confident won't work really well, would be uh, something like a Scar Heavy or a uh, M14 or SR25. And that's mainly because they're going to be just a little fatter and a little shorter. But the Slimline accepted all these mags with no issues. And that's kind of a tall order for a lot of magazine pouches and a lot of chest rigs. So that was a huge bonus. My biggest, my, not biggest, my only real complaint so far that I've had with this chest rig is right here. On both sides, this one section of pals. So you have three channels of pals, three rows of molly on either, either wing. Except right here on this innermost side of the pals, it, it gets a little off spec. And it gets a little tight. Even, even with their own pouch, weaving it in just gets a little tight and a little difficult. You can you can like manhandle it through and it will get through, but getting it back out, holy shit, that was a nightmare. Um I had put in the other review I actually mentioned how I had put a uh paraclete small GP and I put it on this side. And I had to force it on there, and it kind of wanted to take up the same space as this magazine pouch on the side, so it kind of like wanted to push up and out. It fit, and it didn't look terrible. However, getting it off, I, I wanted I wanted to pull my hair out. I was so frustrated, I would literally wanted to cut the motherfucker off with scissors. Luckily, uh, my wife, being a more temperate human being, stepped in and helped me get that little bit out of here. And I was able to get it off. One of the other cool things about this chest rig is... You can run it like a placard. It's got the loop field here. I mean, sorry, hook field. And it comes with this loop field that you put over the hook field when you're not running to run it, like stuck to something like the Pharaoh. Um, 
I'm actually choosing to use the slim, the slim straps that comes with it, just so I can uh, don it and doff it easier. I kind of like wearing chest rigs over top of my stuff. But if I wanted to, I could clip it right into the Pharaoh and run it straight as a placard. That is pretty neat. It also has, let's flip her back over. Oh, sorry, I'm shaking the camera, guys. It's also got these little built-in expando pockets in the wings here. And these were, on the website, they were showing an embitter in there. I tried putting a 152 in here. <laughs> that was a no-go. There was no fucking way a 152 was going in there. Embitter would probably fit. Uh, a 152 won't. However, you saw how it has four cells for magazines. This does... It's hard to do this with just one hit. My hands being not compliant. I feel like a fucking monkey right now. Like I've got monkey paws in my hair. Neanderthal. It'll hold a magazine with no problem. So you can go from a four cell, which is standard, to six. You can run six magazines in this. And as you see, holds that AK fucking like a boss. And it would hold probably any other magazine. I haven't put the G36 in. Oh, fuck, you know what? Let's do it. Let's do it live. Let's try the G36 mag. Damn, I keep shaking the camera, guys. I'm sorry. Bear with me. This Velcro is, is, is tight. I haven't really opened it. Let's see if we can force a G36 in there. You're going to experience this with me. It's the first time. I don't know. I don't think we can do it, fellas. And maybe the one off lady that might be watching this. Nope, she can't take it. The girth was too much for her. G36 is a no-go. AR will fit in there, though. I mean, if uh, Admiral Kalashnikov here, and I know he wasn't an admiral, I'm not stupid, but uh, could fit in there. Good old uh, Colonel AR could fit in there. It does also have your uh, standard map pocket, which runs on like every chest rig, most of the length, except... Of course, it stops right here because you got to make room for your magazine pocket. And it's your little map map pocket. Uh, there's nothing in there special. There's no uh, keepers. There's no Velcro or anything. So you can just throw whatever you want in there. Um, I had a, had a notebook in there. It fit. I wasn't a big fan of it. I mean, it works. You can throw whatever you need in there. I never, I never, you know what? I never liked using these little internal pockets. Never have. I don't know, maybe, maybe if I found somebody that could make one of these little, uh, those little cool guy fucking zipper thingies that I've been seeing, like, uh, the Spiritus little dealy hopper, like, Velcro's in here and it makes a zipper, maybe I'd like it, because I don't got to constantly fucking un-Velcro the thing, but if I, without that addition, I just don't really care for these pockets, they just... You got to rip them open. This fucking ton of noise. And then if you're trying to, if you're not BB warring, if you're actually wearing this shit in the field and you're trying to be quiet, this, I mean, listen, this shit is not quiet. Ah, that's ugh, fucking horrible. So yeah, as a map pocket, yeah, it is what it is. I, I just would rather have a fucking admin pouch to do all that shit. Needless to say, though, straight out the gate, this thing is wonderful. I mean, it, it interfaces with the Pharaoh great. It, it, it went right up. It was almost like it was made to just lay over top of a, of a Slickster. And I was super pleased with that. These, these super thin ch the chest rig straps just lay right over the Slickster and don't get in the way. It's just... 
it's it's a thing of beauty. It really is. It, it's a very simple chest rig. It's not um, overdone. It's not overworked. And that's kind of a hard thing nowadays. A lot of stuff's just overmade. And it's 500D. It's lightweight, but not too lightweight. So it's going to just fall apart on you. Um, that I know that was kind of the trend for a little while in some of the uh, some of the SOCOM equipment to make stuff super light but it was just going to like fall apart because they didn't give a fuck. They had SOCOM money. So let's buy new ones next deployment. I don't got SOCOM money, so I want my shit to last a little bit. Oh, yeah, let's, uh, let's address this. So one of the cool things I like that this gives you are, compared to other chest rigs, and this was another feature that I wanted. Oh, that's loud so obnoxious um i did a video on this guy too right here the dangler uh from emerson is it gives you the ability to run uh, off center as fuck uh gives you the ability to run a dangler pouch of some type and i like that that's something i really liked about this chest ring i know some other chest rigs give you that too i'm not stupid mayflower comes to mind but I didn't want to pay crazy prices for Mayflowers right now. They're hard to come by. And, and thanks a lot, Lucas. Um, but I like that. I could run this little uh, little cool dangler pouch. It did what I needed to do. And I could run on the chest rig off the Pharaoh or on the Pharaoh. And it, it gives me that ability to expand my, my kit carrying just a little bit, but not too much. And just adds a little extra bit that I like. And then, one last little bit that makes it even cooler is, because I'm a huge fucking Aussie nerd, I got this little, little dumper I made a few years back out of Ranger Green material. I love front dub pouches. And believe it or not, they do not slap you in the dick when they're full. Like most people always say, oh, it's going to slap you in the cock, bro. It doesn't. These things are awesome. And I, lo I love front dump pouches. They're super awesome just to drop mags right in both, both hands. You're good to go. And this gives me the ability to run a front dump just like uh, some of the Australian chest rigs I've used uh, when I played the BB Wars. So, yeah. ATS, really good chest rig. Uh, not very expensive either. They're very price affordable, and that's another thing I do like about them. I will have that price in the description below. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, hit me up in the comments. I will answer anything I can. If you have any experience with this rig that you want to partake or share with the audience, uh, please do. I would love to uh, hear what you think and what your thoughts on it were. Like, comment, subscribe, all that YouTube shit. I hope you're enjoying these videos, and if you were on the fence about one of these, because uh, they only had like one review on their website, so hence I was like, oh shit, I don't know. Uh, I hope this video helped you make a decision, and I hope it made you buy an ATS, because they make great shit. That's all I got for you guys. Take care. See you in the next one.